Hello, Mika and the day keeps the doctor away. Welcome to the stream again. Sorry for the small delay. I uh, opened OBS and started the uh, game up already, but um, suddenly noticed that for some reason the screen capture screen uh, was, well, completely scaled wrong from last time. So yeah, let's start. This last time we managed to, to my big surprise, honestly, uh, beat two gyms in one stream. Um, so now we're starting at the uh, snowy city. And the goal today is to move towards uh, the punk city, spike mud, spike smut, spike, something with spike. Um, and beat the gym leader there. Um, now, if I'm not wrong, we have to go to an entire ice biome or something. Uh, oh yeah, see a lot of snow before we get there. Oh yeah, also, um, you know how last time I was um, sad about the fact that um, it's not, it wasn't possible to catch uh, certain Pokemon in this game. But I took a look in my Pokemon home boxes and I found a few babies. Uh, for those Pokemon. So we can put Darumaka on our team. Or well, at the very least we can breed a Darumaka, I think. We need a female Darumaka, I think. Oh, it's a male. So we can't breed them. Well, then they're just Pokedex entries. I won't put a Pokemon, use a Pokemon I haven't caught in on the stream. But uh, yeah, yeah. All right, Barry. But yeah, I was like, oh, so we can get Galarian, Ponida, and the little walking snowman. Dar 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 Darmanitan, I think. Oh. Ah, that's, that fish reminds me a lot of, um, like when you've got the movie, The Sword in the Stone. Um, oh, we have to switch. Um. In that movie, there's a sequence where uh, the young King Arthur gets turned into a small fish and then gets chased around by a big uh, carnivorous fish. And that fish, that big fish, looks a lot like the Barracuda. Hmm? Oh yeah, snow still hurts uh, in these games. I've become completely used to like um, Legends Arceus and Scarlet and Violet where snow is, doesn't hurt your Pokemon anymore. It just uh, boosts your defense. Honestly, if you ask me, way better use of it. Oh yeah, I need to lower the sound again. Because otherwise I'm just shouting into the mic. Because when the sound around me is louder, I start speaking louder as well. And that's probably not a very pleasant experience for uh, you guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, chat, chat. Had it opened. Yes. All right. The dive tactics are very annoying. Very, very annoying. And there we go. Bye bye, Barracuda. And buffeted by hill. Yeah, I prefer land, uh, snowscape. I much, much prefer snowscape. All right, time for ground. Knowing your type matchups makes Pokemon games so much easier, to be honest. Recently, I found these nice tic tac kit name not tic tacs kit cats with i think dark chocolate i don't know but chocolate and orange inside now of course me loving oranges i had to buy these and they are pretty nice no i can't really put down the flavor very well they remind me a bit of cookies i used to love as a kid 
Those would also be chocolate and orange flavored. But yeah, I like them. All right, rock slide. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Yes, all right, he didn't miss. And there we go. Getting stronger, getting faster, getting bigger and getting better. Like the song. The Daft Punk song, I think? Stronger, faster, I, I don't know the meme. I also don't really know which song it was. I just know it from the memes in Corona period. Even though it's an older song, like I knew the song a bit, but there were so many memes back then of it. Oh, a balloon Pokemon. Another balloon Pokemon, I should say. There are plenty of balloon Pokemon. Oh, the chocolate just melted a bit. That's a bit sad. Hello. Oh, it's a trainer. Wait, didn't we have to visit like the pool in that town? I think I recall something from last stream where it was like, uh, oh, I forgot her name. The big sis character, you know, the professor's assistant. Um, she requested us to um, go to the bath with her because of something related to legends. Maybe we should check it out because I'm quite sure we didn't go last week. So yeah. Belossum? Do I see it right? Yes, Belossum. I love Belossum. You know what's cool about Belossum? Even though it looks like it's walking around and dancing, it doesn't actually have legs. So it just floats about. I think that's pretty cool. It's also pretty noticeable, um, like in the new Scarlet and Violet DLC, when you like, um, you can send out your Pokemon to battle, right? And you can also possess your Pokemon, so you can get to walk around as a Pokemon. And Belossum is one of those Pokemon that can just travel across water because it just floats. And I think that's pretty cool detail. Oh yeah, I said we had to go up. Huh? Hey. You guys again. Alright, back up. Up, up, up we go all the way to the city where we will find the boss and the lady most witty. Yay! I made it a somewhat decent rhyme. I should become a poet. No, I shouldn't. I, I, I have no affinity with poetry. I actually had to study some poetry uh, or analyze some poetry for uh, one of the courses I did for my study and it was an absolute disaster I, I, I was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right we've got a poem of like 15 uh, lines and like 100 words and I have to make a uh, presentation and a, a paper about it that would, la would uh, last for about an hour I was like yeah I've got no clue what to talk about with this it's just, like, I read the poem and I, in my mind's eye, I just picture it literally happening. I don't really read anything behind the poem necessarily, so I'm like, yeah, all right. It's just like, kind of, uh, well, you know, like those uh, Disney Fantasia um, movies, where they gave artists, let artists just listen to a track and then let them animate whatever came up to, in their mind. It's kind of a vibe like that, I just picture it like that all right where uh, where is the professor's assistant so yeah for me poems like I don't hate them or something but it's more like uh, yeah I can't really search anything behind it because I just picture it as being as it's described oh the tapestry Oh, no. this reminds me of that um, reading about that very big tapestry in uh, oh, um, what was it? Was it's like an English tapestry. It's it's depicts a very important English historic thing or something, and it's a huge thing. Like 
more than 10 meters uh, long or something. I believe it's also put up in parts now. And it's medieval. It's really cool. I haven't seen it for real, but I've seen pictures of it. I kind of want to see it for real, though. Oh, in Slumbering Well, where we saw the wolf. That big bad wolf who ate the three piggies. Oh no, that's a different story. The big bad wolf from Red Riding Hood. Oh no, that's also a bit different story. Just drumming on my controller. Yeah. Oh, now we get to go to the bath. I didn't even know there were like uh, onsen in uh, England. Although to be fair, even if there were, I would never go to them, to be honest. <laughs> Although I guess in England, the culture about bathing would be a bit different than in Japan. Like in Japan, you've got quite a few onsen, but I would never go to them because you have to go naked. And of course the whole uh, divided bathing meaning I go into a place I'd not be very comfortable with. But also the naked part. I have no desire to be seen naked nor see others naked. So it's like, yeah, I, I, I can't really go into those baths. Oh, oh, another fight. Like anime lies to us. Anime shows us uh, people going in there and uh, using a towel to cover themselves. But that's not actually the way it goes, sadly. Like even then I'd probably not really be inclined to go, but then at least I feel like I might try it. Maybe. I mean there's still other issues, but I might. But yeah, no, like this way, definitely not. All right, flamethrower. See, the cute Hulu became this. A not so cute Dubwu. I'm very sad about that. I love Wulu, but I don't like Dubwu. Very sad. Plain old disappointment. Burn! Yes. Bam bam. Bam 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 bam. I, I would like to put up the sound a little higher. I like to vibe to the music, you know. All right, a little high. Oh, I wait. I have I have buttons for that. I don't have to drag the. Yeah. All right. No. Yeah. Intellion. Well, if you're bringing out a starter, I'm bringing out a starter. That's only fair, right? Except my starter is broken. Brokenly overpowered. And yours isn't. <laughs> I like the concepts they went with for the starters. Like every starter has like... Uh, embodies a popular aspect of... Uh, British pop culture and how the world perceives British pop culture. Like Italian is like a spy. So like James Bond. And... Um, the monkey is a drummer, of course, a rock band guy, which, of course, the uh, England is very well known for the many pop, popular uh, rock bands and other bands they put out. And then, of course, we've got uh, the soccer rabbit, which is a soccer player, which is also, of course, the world round knows about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, last time we got Thunderfang. Alright, let's try it out. I'm very hyped. This should be the most powerful move it can learn. Because of the ability it has. Alright. Bite it with all your might. The good doggy. Oh, we can't eat berries? Luckily we don't use berries. Thunderfang! Dama 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 Thunderfang! Yeah, that makes no sense. And it's hot again. 
It's been pretty hot the last few days, which is a bit sad. Oh, we nuzzle it. We nuzzle it. Yes, nuzzle. Because, yeah, we don't have toxic or something. Well, me, I I don't like that Snorlax. It's too strong. <laughs> like last time we fought it, it almost completely beat our team on its own. And fair enough, Snorlax is a strong Pokemon, but <laughs> it's so annoying. Especially the way it goes about doing it is very annoying. Alright, we just roar. I want to see what's on the other side. Yeah, body slam all you wish. Oh yeah, I bought... Recently bought these Sakura flavored Japanese snacks. Do you know... If you've ever played with like Play-Doh, you know? Um, and ever smelled it as a kid. That smell... Honestly, the taste of these cookies or snacks reminds me of that specific smell. So I'm not really sure how to rate this these snacks. Like it's like I'm putting Play-Doh in my mouth. And I never tasted Play-Doh, but I imagine it kind of tastes like this. I'm not sure if I'm happy about it or not. Oh well. It's not like it necessarily tastes bad, it's just a bit disturbing. No, I missed out on a lot of sakura flavored stuff. Like during the hanami, 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 they had a lot of sakura flavored stuff. But I guess I kind of was still getting used to all the kinds of products you could buy here in Japan. So I didn't really uh, buy any Saka flavored stuff yet because I there was already plenty of new stuff to try. But now, yeah, now I'm like kind of sad I didn't try all that. Oh yeah, let's let's use bo boy. I shouldn't have named it this. I can't even pronounce it. Boya, boya, boyo. Oh, now I bring out Earthquake, but with Grassy Terrain in effect, it won't really do much damage yet. Oh well. Laser focus! <laughs> oh no, that's gonna hurt. Ouch! Oh, that's even worse. Oh well. At the very least, the snow. Oh, and the Grassy Terrain. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. <laughs> right, dig. We are a dragonfly and we're digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. We are a dragonfly and we're digging a hole. Oh, earthquake disappeared. Shame. This would have been a good opportunity to actually start out using it. Was it a crit? Nope. It was not a crit. And knockout. The road towards power for this Pokemon is a bit tough, I guess. It needs a quite a high level to actually become strong. Alright, it's time for something different. Oh, Guy. And it has Prick Break. Oh. Well, in that case, I, don't, well, I wonder what we were even being difficult about. Alright. Grassy search, none, brick break. Bye bye. Should have done this from the start, to be honest. But I hadn't realized it was on our moveset. Alright. Oh no. Alright. The slumbering wealth? Yes, we are also going to Spike Moods. 
Oh. Uh, I'd like for Hop to be happy, not just not really as my rifle, but just because I kind of want everyone to be happy. I believe that's the way to go. Oh, there's also a way down here. Oh, nice. I didn't know about this place. Wait, what? I saw a text balloon. Aww. Hello. What a cutie. Snom. I like Snom. It's cute. And its evolution is also cute. And powerful. That's a rare combination. A cute and powerful final evolution. Mostly you see that combination in like mythicals. Like for example Mew or Jirachi or Celebi. Those are cute and powerful. But other than that, there are a few Pokemon that are both. Let's see, what, what Pokemon would be described as both cute and powerful? Um, um, that's a difficult one, actually. Ah, Palafin from Generation 9. Like, um, it has two forms. And although its uh, normal form isn't powerful, it's very cute. But when it changes forms, it's very powerful. Though it's no longer cute. No, alright, that doesn't count. Like, it's never cute and powerful at the same time. Hmm, what Pokemon is, though? What Pokemon is cute and powerful at the same time? Honestly, that's a really difficult question. Um... I guess Azumarill is pretty cute, and it's also um, decently powerful because of its ability. Alright. Gabite! Go Gabite! Yay! Wait, bicycle cycling on the water? Oh, he's the guy that gave us a free bike. And now he's gonna give us... Something that makes bikes ride on water. This guy is loaded, I guess. Or really, really nice. Like, I'd like to think of myself as a pretty nice person, but I would not be inclined to give away a bike just like that. It's just a bit... Mm, bikes are expensive, you know. <laughs> Alright, play rough. Yay! And level up, level up, yes! Yes, sir! I I really don't like the hill. Pangoro, Pangoro, Pangoro is what? Oh, it's a panda bear! Yay! I like panda bears. Mostly because of, like, an anime, you know? Um, I don't think many will still remember this anime, but... Um, there used to be an anime called Ro Ranma One Half. It's a bit old. Um, it's about characters that uh, change forms uh, depending on uh, the heat of water they get hit with. And the father of the main character would turn into a cute panda, though. The, as a panda, it was he was about as useful as he was as a human, which is useless. But he looked cute, and he was kind of like a mascot. And he used he used science to communicate because, of course, he's intel he was intelligent, and still needed to communicate even as a panda. So he would flip these signs around with uh, read different uh, text, which makes no sense in real life. But it was still quite funny to see. And it wasn't the most serious anime, anyways. So it was fine. I liked it. I liked the anime. I didn't like the character, but the panda as a mascot, it was cute. I like what they did here with like the sort of route where you have to dodge things. Oh. Wilmer! Wilmer is cute, though it's not particularly strong. Which is such a letdown, to be honest, because it looks strong. Yeah, let's run. Oh, no, 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 no. Run. Run, Doro, run! That's another thing that disappoints me. 
Arcanine looks like it would be an extremely fast Pokemon. And if you see it like in anime or something, or running around in the overworld, like it's actually really fast. But when you put it in battle, it's actually not very fast. Hello. Yeah. But you, you see ice everywhere and then you're like, oh yes, this is a great beach. Dive. I like dive how they boosted it. It used to be a really weak attack. But now it has decent damage. But because it's two turns... It's still not very great. And unlike Dig, which doesn't really have any alternatives from most ground Pokemon. I mean, for example, Drill Run, which would be an alternative, um, isn't taught to a, a lot of Pokemon. Um, right. Um... Dive does have a lot of alternatives, like it has liquidation and it has um, waterfall and most water Pokemon can learn those two moves. Oh, and also Aquatil. Your Aquatil isn't the most reliable in accuracy, I guess, but still, yeah. Most water type Pokemon can learn either of those moves. And pretty much every water Pokemon that learns Dive can learn uh, waterfall, so yeah. All right, time for a switch. Wait, it was uh, a flying move it used, right? Then electric or rock? But which of these two is beefier? I guess we should just keep Doggo. Uh, Pokeballs won't work. Just use flamethrower. Will miss either way. And he missed as well. Or she? What is What is this Wilmer? He. Yes, a he. Alright. Hello, Wilma. And there we go. Bye bye, Wilmer. I still like Wilmer. Have liked it ever since I was a kid. Like, it's it kind of looks like a will, but without any of the parts I don't like about a will. Like the tail. It's just a cute whale ball. I, I'm really out. I'm really here for that vibe. Bam, bam, bam. Aim for your opponent's weak spots. That reminds me of like a conversation in World Tour from Street Fighter VI. By the way, that's definitely a game I plan to stream sometime. Um, probably sometime when I. Uh, um. Yeah, let's switch. And when I get back home uh, in the Netherlands. Because Street Fighter 6, although not the heaviest game, uh, the laptop that I'm curious, cu currently on can barely play it on the lowest settings. And even then it's lagging badly. So streaming it would be pretty much impossible. This is a game I love very much. Not that I'm good at it, but I love the World Tour. And I would love to play it uh, World Tour on like stream. No, I'm not sure. That should be allowed, right? Like I've never seen anyone stream World Tour. I've seen plenty of people stream Street Fighter, but not World Tour. So I'm not sure if it's allowed. Is it perhaps not allowed or something? Or maybe people just don't think it's interesting. Which is odd to me, because it seems like the most interesting part to stream about Street Fighter to me. Though I guess it's a bit grindy in some aspects, maybe? I guess? Possibly? Oh well. You don't have to... Yeah, at the same kind of getting to know and see every character is kind of the fun of World Tour. So you kind of have to grind the Master Styles. But I like it, I like it, though the grinding is a bit um, annoying, I guess. Oh, let's go over here. No, 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 no. Oh, hello. Bam, bam, bam. These people are... Honestly, I respect them. 
I was gonna say crazy, but no, no, no. If they can uh, stay out here in the cold, well, while only wearing swimming clothes, my they have my respect. All right, schooling. Oh, wishy washy is bad. Yeah, but this is also a form change, and after the form change, it's not cute anymore. It's a very cool concept, though. I really like the concept of wishy washy. Alright, god. Oh, I could have used dog. Alright, next time we'll use dog. This is a very, very strong Pokemon we're facing. Until it gets to half health, after which it's pathetic. Which is funny. All right, it's it's. I believe it's like almost legendary level. At the very least, it's pseudo legendary level. It's very strong, but only when its health is above half, above fifty percent. Oh, and we one shot it. Some oh with a crit. That makes sense. And grass terrain. And all right, yeah. Yeah, will you? Will it evolve now? I wonder. I hope so. Flygon would be so nice to have on my team. <gasps> Will Lord! It's a Will Lord. No, no, not not Baba. Let's let's not switch. We don't really have a better option. Will Lord. It looks so small here. That's so disappointing. Especially when looking at it in the overworld, like in the DLC, you see one swimming around in the overworld and it's huge it's so big it's i believe it's the biggest pokemon in the entire pokemon franchise no i don't believe i just believe so i'm sure it is i actually looked it up once it's even bigger than the dynamax pokemon are and those are huge flygon yeah Honestly, Flygon is actually a bit disappointing if when it comes to strength. Like, it has a somewhat decently specialized distribution, I guess. But it still is pretty much an all-rounder, so it's not that strong. I mean, outside of Arceus, no Pokemon really makes the all-rounder uh, approach work. And with Arceus, it's mostly because its stats are just stupidly high. And it has a very, very, very big move pool. But other Pokemon? Yeah, no. Nope. It's just helpless. It's just hopeless. Hopeless. But for now, Boyo will show us its power for the first time. It went from a baby to a big, powerful dragon. I feel like plenty of dragon Pokemon have that route. Like, Bagan is also pretty much a baby. And Gibble. Like Gibble just looks like a baby. Like a baby Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Which other dragon type Pokemon? Tortini, I guess, a little bit. It looks like a baby snake. And others not Swablu, no. Horse not horsey either. Uh Dano, yeah, Dano also. Dano also, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, Dano. Others, uh, pretty much all of the all of the three stage dragon types uh, lines. Ooh, scope lens. I like the scope lens, or like, I mean, maybe not particularly much, but it's like. A decent item to have and for like uh, the story 
playthrough. It's like better than most other items. Let's see. Oh, what does Garbus do again? Is that for speed or for special attack? Speed. Well, you know what they say about speed. We are speed. Special attack. Alright, that's for Baba. Go Baba. Go Baba. Go Baba. Go, go, go Baba. Scope lens. What can we give the scope lens? Berry. Because it already has an increased uh, crit move, which now should be pretty much guaranteed to crit, I think. I think so. By number. Alright, let's have a look, shall Oh, no, no, sorry. What kind of new moves do we have? Leech Life? Nope. Brutal Swing? Nope. Retaliate? Let's have a look. Icicle Spear? Nope. Dive? No. And by type. But we already had one. So it just reintroduced it into a bag. Into our bag. I guess. Can we walk behind it? Yeah, we can walk behind them. Uh huh. Alright, let's see, let's see. Which, which, which Pokemon do we want to put first? Yeah, these two are fine. They give good coverage. I'm still wondering about whether, like, um, to transfer all the previously used Pokemon to, like, one final game where we uh, stick like I am not sure but I'm thinking about maybe it's either Scarlet or Violet where I'm like want to do like also like multiplayer stuff with you guys and in that case it would be nice to bring over a previous generation Pokemon I think like for raids or such Drill Run alright let's see nom, 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 nom. Four times effective, no crit. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh well. Yay! Level up. Oh! <laughs> He looks a bit like a monkey, like that. He's a monkey. Oh, hello, good sir. What's going on here? Hello there. I can't... Oh, it's Spike Smoot, not Spike Smoot. That's indeed not very fair. Hey, Marnie. How are you doing? What are you doing behind those boxes? Oh, oh. Oh, that's so cute! Baby Clopopus. It looks like a baby throwing a tantrum. Well, maybe not a baby, but like a toddler. That's cute. Alright. I think it's a fighting type. It has boxing gloves. Let's see. Yes! All right. Oh, we can't go up there. I see something shiny. And like a true crow. Well, no, not a crow, but still. Like a crow. If we see something shiny, we must have it. Sure. What? Yay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I wish you luck, but I don't think you're gonna win. Just a feeling. I've got a lot of options to cover my bases. You're gonna beat us? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're not. We are going to win. With ease. Sucker Punch, you might. But here's the play rough. Aha! Nah, nah. 
Honestly, that cat looks kind of elegant. I like it. Leapart. Ooh, we've got a we've got a level 51 Pokemon. Toxicroak. That's a bit of a wild pick. But what would like ground should work? So either bear, berry or that one. Other options? No, no other options. All right, let's go with berry. Berry is actually a little. Maybe maybe berry is actually a little better than Flygon. It doesn't have a four times weakness to any type. And it is more specialized, so its attack and s speed are a little higher than Flygon, which is also Flygon special, which are also Flygon specialties. Drill run! Yeah! <laughs> bye bye, Toxic Rock! And a crit! Yes, that's what we do it for! That's what we do it for! Bam and bam! Oh, three. Three level ups. All right, switch back to Fairy. You got Scrafty. Scrafty is the final one, or is that Scruggy? I don't know. But they're dark and fighting, so they have a four times weakness. Oh, Scrafty is the final one. All right. Four times Fairy weakness. Let's go. We love those ones. And bye bye. Honestly, it's crafted, got like another evolution. It could be really good because it has decent stats and good specialization, but it could use a little more. Just a little. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I know how to get you riled up. Well, I have yet to say the same about you. You're just not strong enough. Oh, a special move. I'm sorry, I'm not particularly impressed. S Spark at this level is kind of weak. Especially when, when it's signature move. Marpack's signature move would be, have been stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Will she give us like a more peckle at the end or something? Like sometimes uh, you get like gifted Pokemon, uh, signature Pokemon um, after completing a story, you know? Or maybe they don't really do that anymore. Like I remember like, uh, for example, in Gen 4, or especially in Gen 1, and 2 and 3, where you get a certain Pokemon only after uh, being a champion and you'd get them as a gift. Open the door! It's so weird to have an entire city inside of like a big factory hall. It's really odd to me. Oh well. <coughs> Time to head for that concert! Bam 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 bam. No, 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 I would not like to rest my Pokemon. I'd like to rest my case. Haha. <laughs> Bad joke, I know. Yeah. What? Pierce Lick Leak card. Spike me. Uh huh. Oh! Well, this doesn't look like a gym, but alright. Na 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 na. Hey, you're ambushing me. It's a battle between desires. Nah, my desire might not be that strong, but no way am I losing to a random guy on the streets. Play rough. Oh, we should actually save our moves. We don't know how many challenges we'll face. Alright, alright. Next time we'll use Flamethrower. 
Oh, there wasn't a next time. Alright. Very nice. Alright, step aside. Oh, I was... I thought I'd have to face the punk lady as well. But I guess not. Hey, it's Rose! Oh, it's like... Um, uh, what it's called? Centerfold shot of uh, the ch uh, league chairman. How nice. Mm, hello. Mr. Mime is a dancing Pokemon. Yay! Ah. And now you ambush me. Smart. I mean, I thought you'd only find Galarian Mr. Mime here, but I guess also normal ones, huh? It's kind of a shame that you get Mr. Rhyme as an evolution of the Galarian Mr. Mime, but normal Mr. Mime doesn't get an evolution. Even though I really prefer normal Mr. Mime, it's quite cool. I really, really liked it in the Detective Pikachu movie. It was so funny. It was miming out everything where they uh, like wanted in when they questioned it. <laughs> the sequence was just but I guess Ryan Reynolds is always funny in movies and he really really made that role work very well yeah I've seen that movie like two or three times now and I probably watch it again without problem but, but like also because the movie's fun but also because it's just so great to see the Pokemon in such a way seeing them so lifelike and a lot of them so cute, which is plain impressive. Yeah, I like, I love, I love that. I really hope they do more with Pokemon. To be honest, more Pokemon movies. Hello. Are they doing a superhero landing? No. No superhero landing. If we stand still like this for too long, it's. Oh. <laughs> then why are you jumping out from out of a building? For no reason. It's so stupid. <laughs> That's really stupid. Alright. Thanks you guys. Serious I guess. Stretch a bit. Stretch a bit more. Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yell. Yell, yell. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. So they ambush you with uh, two people, but then they only attack you with one. I don't really get that. Personally, if I were to ambush someone together with someone else, I'd make sure to like... Uh, right, I, th I think here... To like at least attack with two people. Hello. Well, at least they know how to make an entrance. Some of them jumping out of a building, others flip flipping around. Weavile. I like Weavile. It's sort of cute because it's kind of like a cat, you know. And it's pretty strong. So that's a Pokemon that's strong and cute, I guess. Alright, time to switch to... Oh, I didn't need to switch, to be honest. But I still wanted to switch. Go, Barry. Go, Barry. Slash. Oh, then it's a good thing we switched. Rock slide. Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. We certainly like this. Ooh, a lot of level ups. Any new moves? Nope. 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 Oh, That's a shame. Alright, the other one? Yeah, my, I guess you shouldn't have been practicing your black flip skills, but they are pretty cool. I really like them. I wish I could do that. Honestly, I'm always a bit scared of falling on my head. Uh -huh. uh, oh, uh. 
Well, at the very least, they have a lot of trainers attacking us. <laughs> yeah, we already noticed that it's all Spike Mud's trainer. Uh, they don't really look that great without the disguise, to be honest. Alright, Drapion. Well, Drapion has a very nice little trick, which is its uh, typing combination. It has only one weakness, which is ground. But it just so happens that ground is in our moveset. So, goodbye, Drapion. Uh, even with a critical hit, it's so strong. I'm actually surprised. And it's also kind of a letdown, because here I was talking all smugly that, I, that I'd get rid of it, and then I didn't. Oops. Bug bite. I don't really get what was what the point was of that, but yay, good job, good for you. All right, which goes first, extreme speed or accelerock? Extreme speed. So extreme speed has more priority because general priority moves in the same priority brackets go uh, based on the speed of the Pokemon. Did I you lose as a team yup member? Yes, you did. But at the very least, these two actually did it how I just expect them to do it. Oh, and they just run away. Alright. Oh, hello. Hey, that's cheating. Don't worry. We still have the gym challenge for it. That's very cheat. That's a lot of cheating, and that's also indeed not a very good way to get stronger. Oh, there it is, the concert. Let's. Oh, is there an item here? Because it seems like a dead end, and dead ends generally have items. Hello. <laughs> Obstagoon for Cantonium, Mister Mine. Well, I don't have either of them. Honestly, I would kind of like to use an obstacle sometimes, so I'd probably keep it for myself. And I also just have Cantoni Mr. Mime. Honestly, this is so disappointing. They even put in the sounds for him tapping his feet, but there's no sound of him singing. Like, they give every sound except the singing for a singer. That's so... That's so disappointing. Mm hmm. You can't Dynamax here? I prefer that much. I actually prefer that. Oh, I also like his style. He's cool. Now then. A Dark type user. Nice. Well, at the very least in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, when you challenge like a uh, musician uh, gym leader, you actually get like a very cool uh, sound effects and everything. Oh well. Intimidate? You are going to use Intimidate? Are you sure? Well, I guess we just intimidate each other. But will that save you from a four times effective play rough? I don't think so. Oh. But how about now? Oh, it actually does. Huh. That's astonishing. But how about now from extreme speed? But um it's pretty beefy, I guess. Beefy enough that an Intimidate allows you to live a fairy attack. Melamar. Oh. 
How do we deal with Melamar? A fairy, I guess, but that's a problem because Play Rough isn't s strong enough right now. Um, bug type, yes. Four times effective bug type move. Let's do that. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. Honestly, when I first saw Melamar, I was like, oh sh oh no, that's probably gonna be such a powerful Pokemon. I had no idea what it was about or what doing. And it looks like this Eldritch Horror, you know. But now having actually looked it up, it's actually quite weak. It's like, like it's a very bad Pokemon, actually. The only thing that somewhat saves it is that it has a decent ability. And a very weird typing combination that makes it a bit annoying to face. Because it's like, what do I use? Or you use fairy or bug. Fairy types are pretty common. Fairy type moves are pretty common, I guess, but bug types, mostly you see people running U turn. Alright. Next Pokemon was what again? I don't know. But fighting will probably be a safe move. Bam 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 Obstacoon. Oh, he hadn't said it yet. That's why I didn't know. Now he has. Ah. Obstacoon is pretty cool, huh? Alright. Brick break. By now. Uh, could have been better. Oh. Darn it. I did not see that coming, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, bum. Uh, what? <laughs> oh well. It's fine. We've got plenty of other options. Play rough. That actually didn't do as much damage as I thought. I wonder why. Like seriously, why? Does it have like... No. Huh. Then, but then why did my play rough do a lot less damage than that brick break? Like... Dogo has higher attack, so it should... And Playrough has higher... Uh, oh, a crit, maybe. Because I don't see how, how it could otherwise do less damage. Alright, what is its final move? Skuntank. Another one of those Pokemon that looks pretty strong and then just isn't. It's just not. It's a pretty bad Pokemon. It's pretty useless, which is sad because, like, uh, if you've played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, it's one of the big antagonists, and it's pretty cool, and it's like this big bad boss there. Uh, why do you announce what you're going to do? That's not a good idea. Oh well. <laughs> you will not lift this. Well, neither will I, I guess. Toxic is pretty bad. Like, bad for me. Toxic is a strong move. Um, and then it's just such a weak Pokemon skin tank. Oh, it did a decent amount of damage, I guess. That wasn't a crit, right? It was. What? How did that? How did that do so little damage? All right, we really have to finish it now because the next toxic might kill us. It will kill us. All right, 
Go, 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 go. Phew. All right. Please, no toxic damage, because otherwise we're done for. Well, at this speed, we can probably challenge the final gym leader as well. All right, Piers. Bam. All right, which spot does this fill? Right, it's clearly Lan last spot to fill on the disc. <laughs> They're all crying. Oh, well, that's a very smart idea. Maybe then you can make it. Uh... Mm hmm. Yes. Uh? Oh, that's a good idea, but you're not going to be a champion. Alright, can we also watch her battle then? I think it would be pretty cool if you could watch, like, uh, someone else's battle, like, in the story. But then, like, like for, as an audience, like, uh... Um... Like, the audience uh, looking around at the battle, not just... Like you sometimes see like in the how to catch a Pokemon guide where you're just watching from the menu and not doing anything because that's boring. But looking at it like an I see audience like from the side, I, I think that would be pretty cool actually. Yes. Oh, he's that good, huh? I think it's really cool how in this game the adults are actually dependable. Like a lot of the Pokemon games it's like the kids have to do all of themselves. But here Leon is like, don't you worry, I'll, I'll take care of anything. And we just don't really have to do anything. Like we're, we're just here to, uh, to do our challenge. And nothing else, which is great. Hello there, sir. <laughs> That's a very unique idea, I guess. Oh, hello. Can I pass? Can you let me pass? Hello? Yes, alright. Let's have a look what's causing the shaking. Hey, hello! Oh no, not Cal Calvin Chula. Where's Leon? Mm. Oh. The news. Yeah, he is. And that Pokemon is still uh, Gigantamax even after being defeated? Yeah, but to be fair, his Charizard has a big advantage against that Pokemon. It's a special attacker, a fire type. And the other one is a, a steel type with low special defense and low speed. Yeah, that's not gonna win. You know, it's not a fair, it's not a fair battle. Also, Charizard is just vastly more powerful in and of itself already. Ooh, Dublade, I love Dublade. Fond memories of that Pokemon. To be honest, I love a lot of Pokemon. Flame terror. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Passimian. Let's see. Well, let's just keep using Doggo. Go Doggo! Go Doggo! Go Doggo! Go Doggo! Doggo Doggo! Doggo go! Doggo Doggo! No, yeah, no, that doesn't work. I thought I could make a nice pun there, but... Guess not. 
The Angry Monkey. Angry Monkey. Oh, the screen kind of flipped out at that point. Alright, alright. It's such a shame. Passimian looks like a Kraal's type, but it really isn't. Oh, another Pokemon. Which Pokemon is it now? Poltegeist. I like Poltegeist. It's a pretty unique Pokemon. I really like how they uh, added, like, Poltegeist in the Gen 9 DLC, which is like an alternate version. But using like uh, traditional uh, tea ceremony cups and matcha tea, which is also kind of cool, and it's also kind of decent. Good move, good abilities, good stats. That's what we like to see in Rono. Oh no! Still no good moves for Bella. Disappointing. Disappointing. Very, very, fairly, fairly disappointing. We still don't really see much of the shaking stuff. Hello. Shaky the shaky. No shake. Nope. Alright. On to the town. Which is the final gym leader. Raihan. Bam, 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 We've got a lot of doggies on our team. Not that that's a bad thing, necessarily. It's just an observation. Probably because, no, I, d I thought it was like memorize a move. Remember a move. I keep, why do they even have this check a Pokemon's memory? Who wants to know that? No one. All right, let's see. Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance is kind of good. Super power, Super power is also kind of good. Bug Buzz could be good if it had a decent special attack, but it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, Sand Tomb, no, 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 no. Um, superpower, yes, 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 let's teach it superpower. Instead of Crunch. And then also teach it Dragon Dance instead of... Um, Instead of laser focus, because laser focus isn't that great to be honest. It's only uh, a one turn boost. And if it doesn't crit at that one turn, you just wasted two turns basically. But it's a very fast crit boost for sure. But focus energy is just better because it gives a permanent boost. Right, now let's change the order of its moves. I want you last, I want you first, yes, no I want you last, yeah, 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 all right, Raihan is a dragon type specialist, right? So, our opening act should be a dragon type to show him how it's done. Uh, next to that, well, a fairy type move is pretty decent, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I'm pretty confident about this. Hello Hop. Oh and Leon and Sophia Sophia? Sonia are they here as well. Yes. Well I am doing but hmm. 
but not for long. It won't be long and then you will be the beaten champion. I'll tell you it already. Hello, madam. What is he? Oh. Alright. Alright. Uh, there must be. Mm hmm. Oh, that's so awesome. He really is a big brother character, huh? He'll just protect us. I like that. Mm hmm. The Champion Cup. Oh, maybe maybe we can we can do the Champion Cup in the next uh, in the next stream. It kind of depends on how quickly we beat this gym. And how quickly we get to the place of the champion cup. Because getting to a ch uh, elite four or champion challenge can also take quite a while after the last gym. No, we don't need anything. We're fine. Hey, ball guy. Hello, ball guy. The ball guy. The level ball. Yeah. I'm not gonna use it, but yeah. I just like talking to the ball guy. No, no, no. I, I just want I want just want to fight. I want to fight the gym leader. Yes. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Oh, not the stadium. Then where do we go? Alright. The final gym leader. Hello. Hmm. Yes. In double battles. Mm hmm. Well, I have some practice in double battles. So I should be fine. I think. Mm hmm. So you're going to utilize a gimmick like weather or terrain. All right. Oh yeah, I see, I see, yeah, yeah, he is. Pelipper, Pelipper Supremacy. There is one tiny problem with Pelipper, you know. It has a four times weakness to electric type moves. And because of its setting rain, to move Thunder becomes a move that cannot miss its opponents. Whoops. So yeah, just an FYI. Time for dog to really shine. Dragon dance, dragon band sweep. Down, down, yeah. Water pulse. Yeah, that's why I switched because I knew that was coming. All right, this one will hurt. This one will definitely hurt. Yeah, it did hurt. Right, time for a little bite. Just a little. Not too big, just a little bite. Just a little bite. And there we go. See, and that's the issue with Pelipper. I love Pelipper, I use it a lot, but that also means I really, really know its weaknesses. Honestly, its stats aren't the greatest, but it has a somewhat decent spread, and its ability is so strong. 
So that's why it's a good Pokemon. Despite not being the strongest Pokemon. That's funny. Alright, what are you going to do? Yeah. Ah, the fire sp the sunny day set. Well, that should be a little easier for me. Time for an earthquake. Um, I'm actually a bit scared of Turtonator, but purely because I don't really know a Turtonator. I don't really know what Turtonator can do. Play rough on Turtonator. I know that won't be super effective, but oh well. Earthquake, yes. Should be super effective on f to everyone on the screen. Alright. And play rough, don't miss. Yes, alright. Wasn't super effective, but it did enough. It did the job. It did what it was supposed to. Honestly, this challenge is probably the easiest and quickest one. I was like, is there spooky music in the in this uh, in the game right now? But it's no, it's coming from outside. All right, what are you going to do? Ah. Uh, a snow team. Though I don't really get Hakamo being in there. I really don't. I don't understand that part. Oh well. This should once again be easy enough. Four times weakness to fire a Boma Snow. And a weak to Dragon Hakamo. Yeah! Bye Hakamo. And now time to say bye goodbye. A boma snow. Hmm. Well, it's probably because I know these Pokemon, especially these combinations, because I like weather setting teams. But these were pretty easy. Actually, the most difficult one was the Pelipper team. Although, to be fair, a Bowman Snow is a terrible Pokemon. Like, it's really bad. Even with the buff it got uh, by Ice, uh, by Hill being changed to Snowscape, it's still very bad. It should have had a different uh, secondary typing next to ice. It shouldn't have been grass because grass is not a good combination for uh, for it. Nope. Alright. Alright, that works. That works. Yeah. Lemonade. All right, all right, all right. Time to really, well, what whatever we do, we must not use Guy and Boyo at the in the same uh, team. And once Guy gets fielded, Boyo is pretty much done. That's first of all. Dog won't be much use. Puba maybe a little. Use it poison though. That's not too bad. Berry, yeah, use Berry. I feel like Barry is actually... Most of the partners we can bring for Boyo are weak to its Earthquake, which is a bit... Um, oops. Oh well. Time for the wheel. The wheel experience. As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Ryan doesn't simply control the red weather. He also seeks two on two battles. You must be prepared for any situations against a foe like him. 
Why does it speak in third person? Not even Matilda Mikan speaks in third person. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, he poses like a dragon. That's cool. Let's see if we will get the freedom to set up a uh, dragon dance. Uh, how do we? Well, wait. Right, let's see. Sandstorm. Mm, sandstorm. Um. Would it beneficial to be beneficial to do it already? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Let's do it. On the Giga list. Dragon Dance. All right. Bum, bum, wee! Be in awe of my big dog. <sighs> Max Knuckle. <laughs> Just a big fist out of the sky. <laughs> that should be super effective. It is super effective and it does that little damage. Huh. Oh, it's a good thing I used Max Knuckle then. Alright, Dragon Dance. Alright, that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, alright. Another Max Knuckle. Now you might be wondering why the Max Knuckle? But all will be revealed soon. Well, it's already revealed. It boosts the team's attack. So this way we get stronger every turn. Oh, oh we, we learned double edge? Oh no. That's not that's not interesting. But it's not the greatest candidate for that. Alright, another max knuckle. Restoring the um crit. No, no. Restoring the attack of Barry. And putting Boyo at a two stage attack bonus and one stage speed bonus. At this point, we should be very safe. Oh, it re he really goes all out on the sand team, huh? Actually, let's go with that, yeah. And Earthquake. It's strongest move. Oh, I could have come with super effective dragon claw. Oh well. Like this, it should be strong enough that it shouldn't matter. Right? Right? I hope so. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh. It looks like the shard in London. Oh. Well, we one shot our own ally, but the other two apparently not. Even like this, it's not strong enough. Oh well. It might not have been enough setup. Ah! It was super effective, it was boosted. But it's still. It still wasn't enough. That is a tough lesson to learn. Time for Doggo. 
Oh. And who should be the other one? Guy, perhaps? Yeah. Let's bring in Guy. Nothing is lost yet. I know for a fact that the Relodon's special defense is not the greatest. And let it just be that we can use hit it neutrally with special attacks. Whoops. Alright, alright, alright. Flamethrower. Flamethrower. Alright, Sandaconda. Grassy Glide. Bam, 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 bam. Like that it didn't one shot Sandaconda. That's still actually quite astonishing since so many stat buffs, but alright. But that it didn't one shot Duraludon. Well, probably because it was Gigantamax and had a, a big uh, defensive buff. I'm quite sure if it was normal Duraludon, it would have one shot it. Ooh! Play rough. Yeah, but there's no real point in learning it because Crunch is a lot stronger for it. And Nuzzle is a great utility move for catching Pokemon as well. Ba -na -ba -na -ba. Right here we go. Mm hmm. Yes. The proof of your victory, the Dragon Badge. And now the coin is complete. Yeah. Now we can use it in a gacha machine. Mm hmm. Oh, so now we have to defeat Leon. Ah, don't worry, should be easy enough. At last, it's time for the Champion Cup. Thank you. Uh huh. Breaking Swipe. Oh, that could, could be a good move to have. The user swings its tough tail wildly and attacks opposing Pokemon. This also lowers the attack stats. Mm -hmm. A dragon uniform. Number 13. Ah, oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're also gonna beat him? I'm, I'm curious. Let's see how good we'll do. Yes, I did. I did beat Ryan. Oh, an animation? Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That light. Mm hmm. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. So, if you have a lab coat, you become a Pokemon professor. Then I should have been a Pokemon professor at like 13 when I did my first, when I had my first uh, chemistry class. Because then I, I also were, were, no, I was younger than that, like 11 or something. But that was because I was an early, not an early student, I skipped a class. And then I repeated a grade afterwards, later. So I did pretty well. Plum, plum. Nim, nim. Nim, 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 No, no. I want to learn Breaking swipe. Breaking swipe. Use. Because I think breaking swipe could be pretty decent. Well, actually, no, no, no. It's better in like a competitive uh, dual battle format because 
it hits both opponents and then gives them uh, a debuff. All right, where do we have to go? Oh, I like how they all react. Uh, all the NPCs react like this. I think we have to go to the train. Yeah, Hammerlock Station. From Hammerlock Station, we go. Oh, there's only one entrance. I keep thinking there are two entrances because the building looks so large. Mm -hmm. You did that pretty quickly. Hi, 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 hi. Listen up, you two. Bet you away to the Champion Cup tournament to face. Why would you be the favorite to win? People are sure to know you've lost matches against others, while I have a perfect record. I reckon I'd be the, pers the favorite to win. Oh, we're in the train again. The trains look so modern and nice. Oh, Winden. I wonder what city that one is based on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. We will. All right, then. But you better not come crying to me when I beat you. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> burp, 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 burp. All right. See you, Winden. Oh, here we've got the dancing Pokemon and an ice cream Pokemon. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Let's switch Pokemon for a bit. Actually, no, let's not. Let's keep Barry there. Barry should be doing pretty decent. I mean, I reckon these are ice type Pokemon, right? I hope. So this is kind of like Victory Road. It was not an ice type Pokemon. All right, good to know, good to know. But with Rock Slide, we should be able to fish for Flinch. So hopefully not give it a turn. No, it didn't flinch. Darn it. And it powers up. Yeah. Oh well. No worries, no worries. Accelerock to finish it off. I would put... I would turn on the... Uh, air conditioner to cool down the place but it's just it makes a lot of noise I think like let's see yeah that's a lot of noise but it's very refreshing delightful but since it makes so much noise I won't do it oh was that all the trainers I guess so oh no no not all of them hello so it's dangerous to take risks while mountain climbing. So you'll stand uphill from me and battle me with all kinds of elemental effects while I'm standing on a sloped hill of snow. Because that's not dangerous at all. Hmm, all right. That is certainly a way to see it. It's just not the way I see it. All right, Steelix.
Ah, Iron Tail. All right, all right. Iron Tail shouldn't have, wouldn't have been too bad. And time to flamethrower. My favorite move after Ivy Cudgel because Ivy Cudgel is great. Just one big mace being smashed into the Pokemon by a very cute Pokemon. Oh, that's a Pokemon that's cute and powerful, but it's also legendary. Uh, Ogrepon. Ogrepon is cute and powerful and legendary. So it's kind of cheating, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe Grassy Glide will suffice. No, oh yeah, it did. Oh, it crits again. How does he get so many crits? All right, more levels, more levels, more, more levels. We want more levels. Oh, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, that's actually a pretty map. I thought it was just a slope upwards. Oh yeah, a bomb of snow is pretty big, but it's sadly not very good. Snowva is pretty cute though. I like Snowva. I also do like a bomb of snow. It has a unique. It's it's a very unique Pokemon though. I don't really understand what it's supposed to be, but it's unique. But it's sadly just not very good. Weavile's Pressure. Accelerock. Back out. Yeah. Oh. I guess we were both very smart. But another Accelerock will finish you. It certainly will. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I win. Oh yeah, I win. Oh wait, I haven't won yet. But you know you've won when you start uh, boasting about winning before the match has even ended. That is the moment to start boasting. I've learned this from anime. Honestly, I think it would be pretty wild if I ever got a 3D model because you'd see how much I move. I'm moving around while streaming. Like I really just can't sit still at all. So right now you probably just see me like waving back and forth. And because of the terrible tracking of my camera, apparently it's zooming in and out. Well, I can't help that. That doesn't have to move, do with me moving back and forth. So if I move to the left, it's nothing. If I move to the right, oh yeah, there it goes. Yeah. That should normally shouldn't happen. Ooh, comment shot. All right. Oh. Sneasel. I like Sneasel. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, with the 3D model, yes, it, things would be wild. And it would also do like a lot more stuff like uh, maybe meme videos or something, like acting stuff out. That would be nice. So one day I kind of want to get a 3D model. One day when I get the money, I will. Oh yes. Yeah, I don't think there's much need for mailmans anymore. Oh, a postman. 
I thought they were called mailman. Pelipper! Yeah, if you're a postman, that's the perfect Pokemon because it's the post, the post Pokemon. Like, I don't think it has that gimmick anymore. But in Gen 3 and 4, especially in the side games and also in the anime, Pelipper was a Pokemon that would bring around mail. But I guess they kind of phased that out. Probably partly because there's not really a need anymore. Because back then, paper mails were still somewhat around. But right now, who, who even sends pa posts anymore? Like maybe a birthday card or something. But if you, if you if you have to send someone an urgent message, you do it by, by like an email or like an app or social media or something, right? Endeavor. Is that the one where you could... Yeah, all right. Yeah, no, we don't. That's not really a great move for us. Oh, you didn't want it to end. Oh, nice. That means we got luck. Hello. Bam, 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 bam. Just challenge every trainer. Never hurts to have some extra levels. Corvy Knights. Um, do we have anything that works well against Corvy Knights? I don't think we do. So let's switch. Switch. Dog. Yes. And it also resists everything Corvy Knight can do, which is great. Flygon again? Another Flygon? Well, I guess it's when they bring a Flygon, we have to bring a Flygon as well. Go Flygon! <laughs> that fly gun surprised me. Right. Keep walking, keep walking. For here we should be able to... No, we don't. The bears are... the. What's it called? The ice bear is also very big, huh? Beer, ah, oh, it's beer tick, huh? Hello. You really, 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 really want to battle, huh? Well, I guess I've got no choice but to help you out then. No problem. I can, I can do this. I can really help you out in this case. Let's see, brick breaks, drill run. That's drill run. That's stronger. And it has a chance to crit. No crits. It's a shame. Oh, I thought rock resisted rock, but it doesn't. Huh. We learn something new every day. Guess I don't know my type of matchups as well as I thought I did. And that was an accident. I meant to go for Earthquake. Though I guess it all worked out in the end. We just have to not switch out Flycon. Should be easy enough. Should be easy enough. Na -na 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 -na. 
Ride on. Ride on. I love Ride on. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Mostly because I'm very nostalgic for for it. It was one of my most powerful Pokemon when I first played Pokemon. And then I tried trading it with a friend to evolve it, but that wouldn't work. And then he didn't give it back. So like fond memories and sad memories. Sadly. Oh well. Oh well. It still has a warm place in my heart. Good old Rhydon. We love him. Or her. Or it's. Or them. Or whatever. We love them. We love Rhydon. We love Rhydon. We really do. We love Rhydon. We love Rhydon. To ride on. <laughs> we love ride on more than Coride on or Mill Ride on. Yeah, that would be the ultimate joke. If like if they did make a third version of Scarlet and Violet. And then uh, the legendary would just be Ride on. Because its name is pronounced pretty much the same. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Alright. Darmanitan, goodbye. I'm actually a bit scared of Dermanitan because it's pretty strong, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Alright. Phalanx. Oh, you remember Phalanx from the previous stream? It's pretty strong. Pretty annoying. Not a crit. Alright. Oh no. And thank you. I wasted that revive and Moomoo Milk all for nothing. Thank you very much. Very happy. <laughs> no time to cry. Right. Not very effective. Super effective. Yes! Time for some super effective shenanigans. No, oh. oh well. It's special the defense shall be too strong, right? No, it's not. Good. Grab blocked. Time for more. Special, effective, super effective shenanigans. Oh, it actually survived that. But I also survived this, so fair is fair. Bam. Bam. No. Finish it off with extreme speed. Don't give it any chance to do anything. Like suddenly puffing off for like a quick attack of I don't know. I don't know, but we're not giving it a chance. Playing it safe. Another one. Alright. I think it should be the last one till we get to the city, I hope so. It's a double battle? Oh, it is. Oh, this should be easy. I know just the way to go. Earthquake! Anything that resists? Nope. Oh, well. Crunch. Decent damage. Earthquake. One shot my own team member. Let's go. No? Oh, actually not. Yay! What's... 
All right. I've actually never got to use a Kling Clang before. Oh. But we still sort of indirectly one shot our team member. Oh well. Oh well. We actually never use Bubba, huh? There's not really a point to it, to it using it. Alright, Neufen. Neufen. To get a mouth. Alright, Dragon Claw. And nothing. Because we can't really attack it. Switch. Switch. Switch, 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 switch. Alright, alright. Intimidate. Keeps us safe. And. Bam! Yeah. Alright, alright. Yeah. A level up is nice, but. Yeah, that doesn't really work most of the time. But it's a nice strategy if you can make it work. I don't think you'll get the chance very often. I could have used superpower. Oh well. Who gets her first? Boyo? Alright. Pardon me. Ouch. Oh well. We beat it! Yeah! Yatta, 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 yatta. Alright, let's go up. There it is. And suddenly no snow. Huh. Also, we built this huge city on this high of a place. That's bonkers. Oh well. Also, like, no way would a big city uh, um, develop in an inaccessible place like this. Like, no way. That's not how uh, logistics works. Oh, there's a river, so maybe, maybe. But still, mm. Oh! Piccadilly Circus. And uh, Long Nye. Wimbledon now, I guess? I don't know. I'm not that familiar with the, that part. I only know the center of London. Alright. We're here! We've arrived in Winden. I hadn't actually thought we would get here. Alright, 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 alright. What? Let's see. Oh, we don't actually get to look at ourselves. That's a shame. Let's go to the Poker Center. And then... And then I think... Well, it's a bit early to... Uh, to end it, but it's such a good spot, I think, to end it. Maybe, 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 maybe we can go to the stadium and and then end it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then like like end it at a more epic note, like on a cliffhanger, you know, like like an episode, like end it on a cliffhanger, like we've arrived at the stadium, and now. And next time, we will challenge the league! Or like, the league, the cup, I guess. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a very good one. I'm good at explaining stuff. <laughs> oh, we could just, just walk up to the entrance. Alright, I guess. Yeah, this is where we do call it uh, quits then. Alright, let's save. Let's save.
very important to save. All right. Thank you all for coming today. I'm gonna walk in circles. Um, don't leave immediately because we're gonna raid someone. We're definitely raiding people. Oh, the sound starts uh, buffering. Um, thank you for being here. I said that already. Um, I'm very happy that we made so much progress today. And I'm very happy that you've been here. Although the chat has been a bit silent. Wait, it hasn't been silent. Oh, why does it show me the chat? That's so annoying. Oh, well, um, I'm sorry for not reacting to the uh, people that uh, spoke in chat. I honestly didn't see it. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's my bad. That's really my bad. But well, um, we'll be back on um, Friday. And Friday, we'll be playing another Pokemon game, though it's a completely different game. Because we'll be playing... Pokemon Detective Pikachu Returns. I've been really looking forward to this game, to be honest. Because it looks very cute and it seems very different. And I know, I, I don't know. I also like uh, detective uh, novels and films and such. So I think, I think it is, will be fun, to be honest. So look forward to that. I, I at least do. I hope you like guys do as well. And on that note, I hope you all stay, he stay healthy. And let's raid. Uh...